Hello, neighbor Al here. Uh, it's October 11th, 2012 here at Happy Dog Farm. Cool morning. I think it's probably getting close to 50 now, but not too sure yet. Anyway, it's time to put Volgards back on. Uh, I've, I've had difficulty with voles uh, gnawing on my trees. I do put guards out. Sometimes they come off. Um, and I've started off with uh, a product from Oesco in Massachusetts. It's a really good product. Uh, it's been a little difficult, though, for me, and maybe I'm just not doing it right. And um, it's this stuff, which you can see has little clips to hold it together. Now, it comes in very large rolls, um, and you end up cutting it to fit the diameter of your trees. Uh, so I did a lot of trees like that. And that's actually, I did all my trees like that. But it does have um, some shortcomings that maybe it wasn't really meant for what I'm doing with it. One is with, if you're using a weed trimmer near it, um, the weed trimmer goes through it. Uh, although my weed trimmer is a little robust. Secondly, weeds. It gives a lot of room inside for weeds to grow up, which makes it really kind of a pain in the butt just to rip them out by hand rather than spraying, which I don't want to do. So the weed control has really been a problem. And for whatever reason, it falls off. Wind, vibration, things like that, um, all tend to frustrate me. So I am taking a chance and going with a different ISCO product, which is the wrap. Now, the wrap, uh, first of all, you can see weeds are not going to be a problem. That's probably very high on my list. Um, it's going to do the job, keep the voles or, you know, motivate them to go someplace else. But it's, weeds aren't going to be so much a problem. Um, it shapes nicely. It grows with the tree. Um, they say it lasts about three seasons, four seasons. Um, I'd say that's how long this has lasted. But it's not really worn out. It's just beat up. Uh, but it's worth a try. Now, I want to point out something. On the product, you'll see that there's these little vent holes. And if you look closely at the vent holes, they're in the shape of an arrow. And those arrows need to be pointed up. Uh, when you get your box of them, there's really no instructions in them. And you go back to the page on the website, and there's a note there telling you to make sure that the arrow points up. So I'm kind of calling that out. Um, these are good up to two feet. Of course, mine collapsed down a little bit shorter than that. But I like also that they do go above the drip line wire so that wire can't really bang up and chafe the tree. I bought 50, which is really more than I needed. Kind of shipping's all the same. Uh, I'm going to just replace the ones on trees where the black has been problematic. If, if they've got protection for the season, like these guys, I see no reason to change them. They're fine. This one, it's off. Okay, I'm going to put something on there. I, I look at stuff like that, and that makes me nervous. But then I'm thinking, well, maybe that's just the bark corking up like it should. Um, something else is sometimes you get a tree that's odd, and it's not working for you. And I'm kind of proud of this one. If you see that pruning cut down there... This is one of the trees that had gotten fire blight. And it had a small shoot on the bottom. I cut off the entire fire blight section, gone, left the um, small seedling down there, or what do you want to call it, uh, sap or whatever. I got a tree still. Same thing over here. This was a tree that had been heavily afflicted by fire blight. I had a little bit of the scion left. Whack off with the fire blight. I still have a tree. So if you have fire blight, keep heart. There you go. You know, and next year, or maybe in the winter when everything's dormant, I'll cut that stub back a little bit more. But I've got trees still where I would have just, you know, if I'd done old school, maybe rip them out. I can't afford to do that. I really can't. So I do everything I can to preserve my tree, um, the sign and the root structure, so I can keep going. And obviously because 
that tree had some established roots, it sprung up pretty quickly. In fact, quickly enough that I'm probably going to, next year I'll definitely be fastening it to the top wire and start spreading these limbs a bit. Uh, not much else than that. I've mowed the lawn down a bit. I'm going to come back and trim back some of the weeds. I want open ground away from the, from the trees themselves to discourage the voles. Last minute, cut off some of the little suckers that are coming up there. We don't need them. And here's another one, and there's another one. A lot of these trees had had fire blight. You can see the cuts. And at least for this season, they rebounded. Some trees, regrettably, did not fare. So, by the way, these are all Liberty. You can say this one didn't make it. In fact, yeah, it's it's got mushrooms growing on it. That's a bad sign, always. Um, a little something, got a little action going on in there of cyan. Makes me happy. Not going to change that guard. It's in place. It's solid for the season. We'll leave it up all winter. I pick up the guard when I see them blowing around because I don't see any sense in mowing them. Uh, so, definitely needs a guard for the winter. One will probably be fine. So anyway, tremendous learning curve. All this weeds and stuff are going to have to get raked out and covered up with uh, bark chip, wood chip, which fortunately I have a lot of. All of these are going to get the new wraps because theirs came off. Get that little sucker out of there. So that's it. Um, nothing much else to report. I wish you all well. Good luck with your trees. Don't forget, Volgards, you really do need them, even if you have a home orchard with like one or two trees, because little critters will come, and they will chew on the bark, and you will have dead trees, and that's really sort of sad. I have just plain lost trees. I'm getting smarter now, and it's that time of year. If it gets any colder, I don't want to be out here doing this, so I'm doing it now. Take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.